Hello, almond recipe here. Welcome to my kitchen. Today we are going to learn how to cook zucchini quesadas with ground beef. Vamos a empezar. You only need one pound uh, ground beef, 85% lean, 50% fat, four zucchinis, four uh, tomatoes, half an onion, two jalapenos, two garlics, one bunch of cilantro, a bunch of parsley, three tablespoons of oil, and two teaspoons of salt. You also need one pot and one pan. Okay, so I'm gonna empezar. The first thing we should do is to wash all the vegetables, which I already did to eliminate time, and then we can start chopping. So the first thing we want to chop is the onions. I only need half the onion. So I'm gonna just gonna cut here, and then cut half of it, and take that out and peel it. And I'm going to split it in two parts. I'm going to use this one. So I'm going to separate it in two parts and you'll see when we start cooking. So I have one here. And I'm going to start with this one. I'm going to cry guys with this onion. It's very strong. Second thing we're gonna be chopping is going to be the tomatoes. We always remove the end and we cut it in half. And we're just gonna cut it all the tomatoes. We're gonna do the same thing with every single tomato. All right, so I already done cutting my chopping my tomatoes. So I'm gonna put it over here in a bowl. And we are going to move to cut the um, cilantro. So this is my little bunch of cilantro. And I'm gonna fold it in half and just gonna start cutting small. We are going to move to the parcel and the same thing, we're gonna fold it in half. I am done with the parcel, so I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna put it in the bowl. And we are going to chop the jalapenos. And I don't like mine to be very spicy, so you have the choice. You can add the jalapeno or you don't have to add the jalapeno. But what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna just take the, the seeds. That's what I make it like spicy. I'm gonna remove this thing. And I do like it spicy, but my family don't eat spicy, so I'm just gonna remove the seeds so that won't be making it to become too spicy. So I'm gonna just chop in small pieces and if you don't want to use the chile you don't have to that's optional so there is one chile there's one jalapeno so i'm gonna add it over here with the onions so we're gonna do the same thing with the other one so i have that all right guys so i'm done chopping the, my last thing is going to be is my zucchinis and that's gonna be the last thing we're chopping. I'm gonna cut it in, uh, in half, and then I'm gonna do this. Cut it in half, and just chop it. You can cut it um, not too thick, not too skinny. And we're gonna do the same to ne with every single one. Okay, so we're done with our zucchini, so I'm just gonna put it in this bowl. And the last thing we are going to do is just to peel our garlic. So I had two garlics here, so I'm just Smash it. So be easy. Okay. All right, guys. So we're gonna start cooking the zucchini. So I'm gonna add two tablespoons of oil. So there is one, and there is two. I'm gonna let it heat for maybe one minute, two minutes. All right. My pan has been heating for like one minute. So I'm gonna add in my onions. Gonna stir for, for one minute, maybe less than that, just for a short time. Then I'm gonna add my jalapeno. I'm gonna add my cilantro. And I'm gonna add my parsley. Like for one minute, half a minute, this doesn't have to be very long. Now I'm gonna add my tomato. We're gonna cook it for seven minutes and we're gonna come and stir it a couple times. 
Now you don't need to stir it all the time, but we do need to stir it once in a while. tomatoes and this is how it looks and to this point I'm gonna add the salt so I am going to add one teaspoon of salt maybe if you need more if you need less but for right now we just can add a one teaspoon of salt now we can add the zucchinis and we are gonna let them cook between 15 minutes maybe less I'm gonna see but 15 minutes be plenty and to this point I'm gonna add my garlic so I have my garlic right here. I love this thing. It's one of my favorite tools. Just gonna squeeze it. Just add my garlic. We're gonna cook this one for 15 minutes, maybe less. I'm gonna check them, but I think I press my thing maybe 15 minutes. I'm gonna move it here and I'm gonna let it cook now. In the meantime, I'm gonna start cooking my ground beef. That will take like eight minutes to seven minutes. And I'm gonna put one tablespoon of oil that's only need one tablespoon of oil and after that we're gonna let it heat up for one minute okay I think my pan has been heating for one minute so I'm gonna add my onions gonna stir it for a couple of times we're gonna add the jalapeno and when you cook in the ground meat you in the meantime you can uh, stir the squash a couple of times so they all cook well. Okay, so we're gonna cook this one in medium heat. To this point, we can add the meat. And we're just gonna stir. I'm just gonna let it uh, cook for one more minute so they can get the, the salt. Alright, as you can see, my meat is done. It's been cooking for eight minutes. And to this point, we're just gonna turn it off. Alright, guys, uh, my zucchini has been cooking for 15 minutes to this point and medium heat. So I'm gonna add the meat and to this point. And the reason that I don't cook the meat together is because the meat doesn't take very long to cook. It just takes like seven minutes and I don't want to overcook and then just feel hard like rubber. So I'm just, that's why I cook in a separate pan. I'm just going to let it cook for two more minutes and we'll be done. Alright, so I forgot to put the garlic when to my squash but I can put it right now so it doesn't really matter. I'm just gonna put my garlic right now and let it cook for one minute. Alright my guisado is ready. I'm just gonna turn up the stove. I'm just remember uh, so you can add uh, you taste but I think this one should be pretty good for me. At this point I'm just gonna cover and let it sit for 10 minutes and then be ready to eat. Alright so my guisado been resting for 10 minutes and this is how it looks so let's get ready to eat it all right guys so this is my zucchini guisadas with carne molida it's um very good like you can companion with rice I feel like four to six people and it doesn't take very long less than three minutes you will have that milk because it's very easy and quick you know ground meat it cooks really quickly so that's it for this video hopefully you try and enjoy so hasta la vista